Hi guys, Time Finder UK here. As promised, the BBC video with Order Ed. Hope you enjoy as much as I did. What? What's that? Is it not? Is it not a public building? It's a public lobby. It is a public lobby. Is it not a public building? No, it's a public lobby. It's a public lobby. It's a restrictions because of the criminal. Excuse me, sir. You're <coughs> not allowed to go in. on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I thought I'd come out and check out a public building. How's it not? Pub it's not it's not a public building. It's not a public building. It's a public building. It's a BBC funded by the public. Yeah, yeah. this is not a public building. But if it's funded by the public... Yeah, but you are not allowed to film on BBC premises. But you need a permit to film on BBC premises. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, you don't. Even the BBC got a permit to film on BBC premises. Film on their own premises. Yes. yes. Mm. So, yeah, because it's our premises, isn't it? That's I'm just want to check out a building. Yeah, but you can't. Yeah, because it's our premises. Yeah, but you can't. Yeah, because it's our premises. Yeah, but you can't. Yeah, because it's our premises. Yeah, but you can't. Yeah, because it's our premises. Yeah, but you can't. Yeah, because it's our premises. Yeah, but you can't. Yeah, because it's our premises. Yeah, but you can't. Yeah, because it's our premises. Yeah, but you can't. Yeah, because it's our premises. Yeah, but you can't. Yeah, because it's our premises. Yeah, but you can't. Yeah, because it's our premises. Yeah, but you can't. Yeah, because it's our premises. Yeah, but you can't. Yeah, because it's our premises. Yeah, but you can't. Yeah, because it's our premises. Yeah, but you can't. Yeah, because it's our premises. Yeah, but you can't. Yeah, I haven't been asked to leave actually. Um, I've got it on camera. I've got it on camera that you haven't asked me to leave. You're just being confrontational. We're asking you to leave. You're asking me to leave. Please leave. Yes, I'm asking you very nicely to leave the building and you could go with me. My name's not you. My name's not you. I'm going to follow the one way system. I don't want to break the rules. How do we break the law? What law have we broken? Where is the where is the restricted site? Sorry. And okay. people who come okay. in on okay. the television. No one else is allowed. So okay. You, you, you've you had your say now. Okay. Um, where's the sign that said we couldn't come into the building? It's restricted only to BBC. We have a sign telling you. No, that you don't have a sign. You don't have a sign. No, but we are telling you, we are here to tell you that you cannot come into the building. You're, you're here to tell so you. So I'm actually asking you very politely yeah. to leave, okay. to please leave the building. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't see any signs there. I don't, we, we, I'm not a bank of BBC, um, I don't know, my, my thoughts are my own. Yeah, sure, My thoughts are my own, you can leave them. You've got your thoughts, haven't you? Okay. Defiles, corruption, rape. This place is disgusting. Right, well, if it's not well, if it, if it's it's discussed, then it's not public discussion. People need to know. People need to know. That's why we're here. No, you're just being here. You're just here to be confrontational. Not at all. If you would like to go ahead and just not speak to us, we'll continue on. I tell you what, would you like me to ring the police and get the two invitations? Well, I'd rather you didn't because it's a waste of time. I'd rather you didn't waste public money, to be quite honest, because all I was coming in here for. No, you have not. No, 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 because all I. all No. Excuse me, mother, don't assume what's in my head, OK? You might do that to other people, but I've got my own thought processes. I knew why I was coming in here. I'm making a documentary, so I need to stop footage, OK? As this is a public building, that I have every right to enter because there's no restricted signs, because I checked that before I entered the building, like I do on every building I enter. I was going to check the awards, get my stock footage, and then leave the building, and then continue to film outside the premises. 
stock footage for? My, mine? Yes. What were you gonna, you're like I said to you, I'm making a documentary. About what? And what's now, the music for? Now, do your producers come down and tell reception staff what, what they're making prior to it going out to the public? They don't, you know, a, a executive producer wouldn't come downstairs or a director and tell you what the documentary was about, would they? Pardon? You've got a serious, I suggest you get your attitude in check, mate. Hands on your head, get your attitude in check, talk yeah. properly, and you'll get a proper answer. Otherwise, you'll just get sarcasm. Just get sarcasm. I mean, address your stature. Right, you know but I just, I'm not doing something. Okay, well, that's, that's fine. That's, 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 that's brilliant. That is, don't, don't interact. Want, I don't want any footage of me to be used. For what? Pardon? Pardon? Right, wherever you two are filming, yes. yeah. I don't want. I don't want really one. I don't want any. I don't want any footage Can of me. Can I take a photo? Unfortunately, <laughs> sir. No, no. no. You've had your say. Okay, because this is a two-way consensual at the moment conversation. Okay. Unfortunately, you work in a public building. The public have the right to access. Now, I have the right to film on any public building I choose to. And we have the right to actually say to you, no, we you don't, don't want... Unfortunately... Oh, wait, no, you... OK, OK, you had your say. No, no, I have... Yeah. What's your name? I'm not giving you my name. Well, then stop being so bloody arrogant if you're not going to give people don't, a name. Don't, don't, okay. don't be so okay. damn rude. Don't be so damn No, just... I, OK. I, I, what, I, do we call, what do we call you? Miss Trenchable? Can you call you Miss Trenchable? That's enough. Insulted by you. Who insulted you? I said bloody. That's enough. Come on. That's... You know? That is enough now. So what do we call you? Unfortunately, there's no expectation of privacy whilst in public. Yeah. So if you're out in public, like this building is, okay. you've got to be expected to be filmed because right up there, I'm being filmed by that camera. But do you know what? This is for safety, really. Yeah, yeah, so this. Because I've got a absolutely documented of everything from the moment I walk through this door. Absolutely every word. What's your name, sir? And everything. What's my name? Yeah. Call me Sir. I, I did say, I said, okay. what's your name, Sir? No, right. no, my name's Sir. That's what you can address me as. Okay. Okay? I've got a document of everything I have right. from walking in. So there can be no slip. He said this. He did this. Because inevitably, if you do call the police and you don't understand that what we're doing, we can do. Okay, and the longer that you interact with us, is the longer we're going to take to do it. Okay, then you know the police will come and tell you, and then the police will say, "Can I see your footage of what was said?" Because you might have lied somewhere. Okay, I could go. There you go. It's all on there. I haven't been rude. I haven't been discourteous to you throughout this at all. Okay, I've explained to you what I was doing. Can I suggest that you come? Okay. Well, uh, he's his own human being in his own right. He can speak for himself. Seventeen times in here. This place is right with cute girls. I bet there's about fifteen upstairs just now. 
Well, bring your proof. Well, take your proof to the police. Why did you come here? Jimmy Savile. <laughs> all, 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 all the TV <laughs> personalities. Oh, so that makes it OK. So it's a systemic cover-up. Bringing somebody into what? What about a cover-up? Bringing somebody into what? The, the BBC up in London, OK? Up at Television House in the BBC, they have a statue that was carved by a paedophile. Right. Is that statue All there? Is that statue, is, that statue, is, is it? What's two guys yeah. with the camera coming to inception? Yeah. No, like really creating a bit of trouble because we're, 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 I think we didn't create nothing, we just walked in here. You, you walked in, it's you, for you. Yeah, but, you're just upsetting the inception for no reason. I'm not acting in any way that is, is going to cause any harm along with the stress. Well, the only place really you've got any expectation of any sort of privacy is when you go in your own home and you close your door. And no, that's it. I, I still don't or when you're at cash point machine. That's the only real time. I still don't you know. understand what you guys are what, what you're doing. Really. What we're doing? I, I document. If it would have been would have been different if I walked in here with my camera phone or my phone. No, it makes no difference whatsoever. No. You could you could you know. It's the fact that you're coming here yeah, and I'm just like, well, what's going on? But if you left us alone, everything would have been cool. We'd have probably been gone by now. Yeah. You came into <laughs> a public building, into a into a public accessible building. You know, electric doors, TV on. You, it's, it, it's, I mean, you, you, you're showing bargain done. That's an invitation for me to come sit my feet up and put my feet up. No, no, what, no, no, no. Do you know no, what? I would say as far as, yeah, that's fine. But when you start mentioning people here and things like that. But I'm it's doing. what happens here, bro. We can't be silent about it. Silence is complicit. I understand that, you know, like you're passionate about what you do, yeah. but if you have proof, you show me what the police do. Like just like my friend just told you, you know, Jimmy Savile, there's the proof, just one. We could go on. Stuart Hall. Do you know what I mean? Rolf Harris. Yeah, and he's in prison. And how many are, yeah, but how many are unfound out yet? How many out there? For all we know, let him go watch Match of the Day on a Saturday, Gary so, Lineker could be so nonsense up children. So are you guys protesting or something? Because no, I don't no we're not part of the protest at all. We told you already, we're in here making this documentary. Antagonistic. No, we're not being antagonistic, uh, sir. We're just how have I been antagonistic, sir? Have I said anything antagonistic towards you? I, I'm just stating facts and, and what, the, what the law is. I, I'm being courteous to you. I haven't been rude to you in the slightest. Yeah. You seem to be nicer than him for some reason. Well, that he's his own. You, you know, as as, as we're all different, well, we're all individual human the beings, fact that aren't she we? I mean, she's I she's she's stop, saying that, stop saying that, that I called her something. I didn't call well, her. She's only doing, doing her job. Right? She, I just ask her. You imagine how you feel if I come to your work. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. If I if I you guys are all arguing at the fact that you're allowed to ask us questions, but when I ask you a question, I'm being I'm being argumentative. That's that's rubbish. Well, it seems like you are. No, I'm not being argumentative at all. But I mean, you guys are engaging. Me? How would you feel if I come to your place of work pointing a camera at you? Well, I'd be and well, asking you all if it was a public place, what could I say? Well, you know, and, and also it's it's like can you just move away from the people stuff say that they got we're go harassing. Okay, yeah, every year I get BBC knocking on my door wanting money to pay for TV license. Well, I pay the TV and every license. year, Why don't you pay TV yeah, but I don't watch TV. I don't watch that anything that is scheduled on the TV. My TV comes through streaming services, through my YouTube and through Catch Up, Morphle and things like that. Um, I don't watch live TV or scheduled broadcasts as they like to put it, but yet every year I've got to put up with the knock on my door and then the threatening letters and everything. But you might say it comes from Capita who, you know, are contracted by the BBC. But I've got to endure that every year. I've just recently moved house, so I've got to endure that twice in one year now. You see what I mean? And people say that we're harassing. Wouldn't that be malicious communication? Yeah. Sending letters threatening arrest and prison time for something you don't even need to happen. Do you realise you're attacking a security guard? Yeah. Do you realise you're attacking... We, we understand that. But I wouldn't have come in and interacted with you at all. I would have ignored you and left you alone. I would have came in here, walked over there, filmed that cabinet, 
film that statue, film the bike, and I walked in. I'm not argumentative. It seems like it seems like genuinely. You want to feel fine. Different people have got different. Come here, all these questions. Do you know? Do you know what makes it beauty of that though? Because that was what what makes us all individual. Because we're all different, aren't we? If we all sounded the same, spoke the same, like looked the same, we'd, we'd all be boring, wouldn't we? Because we're all individual at the end of the day, OK? And that's all I wanted to do in here. I knew BBC is a publicly funded building. This is a public building because I fund it. Well, I don't fund it, the public fund it. But it doesn't matter. It's still a public building. And, you know, if I came in here when this foyer was closed, because... The public has a right of access yeah, yeah, yeah. under section 30, 30 or section 33 right. of the right of access. Okay, so at the material of time, so now, when this building is open, I have right of access. Okay? I, I know the law. Okay, so that's all I was gonna do, mate, is walk in here. You're not my focus of my video, you're really not. I'm got bigger, bigger, bigger fish to fry sure, sure than this, sure. okay? You, did you ever watch the film Panadrama? No. When um, Panorama, the news investigative journalist, journalist um, got found out to be complete lies and manipulating the truth. And he was fined, he, he was actually sacked from the BBC. He was sacked about a year later, but the BBC got so much. Why do you think Panorama has been taken off the air? because it was found to be it's corrupt. So I know you're saying <laughs> Jimmy Savile and people like that are years ago and he's dead and buried in the ground and the people that did it are in prison, they've been held accountable. But it's not actually, they're the people that actually perpetrated the offences. They're not actually the top men that protected them. And the expenses, you know, the, the main reason I, I stopped watching TV is because why should I pay my TV licence and have your executive producers, producers, your investigative journalists um, have expenses account and go to pubs and lash it up at my expense? So that's why I refused to pay the TV licence and I stopped paying, watching or terrestrial TV, as I call it. Is this going on YouTube or something? Whatever you do, I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. I, you, <laughs> you, you know, it, it gets cut in, it gets edited, it gets, it's exactly you, like the BBC do. do. Okay. But what I don't do is I don't manipulate the truth. So what was said now is, is going to be, it's not going to be edited. I can't edit it. I can't. But I was only here to actually gather stock footage for my own documentary because I'm sick and fed up of it continuing to this day. And the moment the BBC ought to stand up and take that statue down, that's every other church that had statues um, carved by this person, they've removed them because this guy raped and molested his own daughter. Yet the BBC refused to remove this statue from public view. Okay? Yeah. I was abused yeah. as a child. So having the BBC stand behind a paedophile, an abuser, is I, I have a little bit more of a cause, but I'm not like other people. Okay? They might not stay, come around and actually talk and actually hold people to account but I'm different I've had enough I've had 43 years of this crap and it's time to change it you go from around here, well I go to all are public local? buildings are you from Bristol? yeah yeah I'm, I'm, I'm local I, we're, we're, you know we are but I wouldn't have come in here I wouldn't I have even spoke to you really I wouldn't have spoke to you at all I was going to come over there see the BAFTAs okay because you know, I was once proud of the BBC because I thought we got the natural history and the, the wildlife department, all wildlife programmes are made in Bristol. You know, Richard Attenborough. 
Oh, sorry, David Attenborough. That's his brother. I'm watching too much Jurassic Park, aren't I? You know, it's it's amazing. But I can't be proud of something that's still complicit. They have not once apologised for protecting that man, ever. Has the BBC ever apologised to the people? No. And they actually stood. Do you know what they call the BBC? What they used to call it back in the day? Watch with Ante. How sick is that? How sick and perverse is that? And thinking about it now, watch with Ante. Yeah. Wonder what else they were doing. You know, you work. I know you got to have a job, and you can't choose to work for. But you choose to work for people like this. The SIA, they probably. It took me a long time to find a job, please. Yeah, I know you've got to have a job. I'm so happy, I'm happy to have a job. No one's trying to give you guys any free work here. Are you guys, you know, Jesus. It took me a while to find a job, you know, so... I know, it, I, I, I understand it, but I, I, I didn't want to come in here and have a confrontation, and I'm glad it's actually calmed down and we're actually speaking. Well, yeah. But all we can do is, is walk in here, right? Now, if there was a sign saying pub, all public access is suspended due to coronavirus, I wouldn't come in. But there's no sign. OK? That's why when I asked the lady, where's the sign, and she, you know, went off in one. Because I, I'm on an old thing is, uh, I don't know if you're taught control and restraint and things like that, CNR. Yeah, behaviour, breeze behaviour. You come in aggressive with a high tone and aggressive manner. The person that you're trying to convey that to is going to come in over the top of you with an uh, even aggressive manner and tone. So if they're going to be backwards and forwards then, who's going to get the upper hand? So this is why I come in here, nice and calm, but the moment I start getting attitude, and that, that's when my tempo goes up. But if you notice, my tempo and my mannerism hasn't changed for a whole conversation. And see how, see how now everything's de-escalated? Now, that's not my job to de-escalate. Now, I had to de-escalate you guys. Okay, and tell you this is all right, we can do this. Chill out. We'd be gone in five minutes. We would have been gone now. I'd have been stood out there probably with my camera on the tripod. Tell me your name, that's all. My name's Chris. Nice to meet you, mate. All right, my name's Chris. All right. So, yeah, it's, it's about, it's you know, we're, sometimes I like, we're having a good conversation now. I think we're having I'm listening, brilliant. I'm listening to you. Honestly. You know, and I think you are. But, Somebody walks in with a camera, do you know what the best thing to do is? Ignore it. Ignore it. Really. Ignore it. Let them do, because they've obviously come in for a purpose, because they wouldn't enter the BBC lobby for no apparent reason. Right? They've obviously got a purpose. Right? If I had an appointment, of course I would have came to the desk and said I've got an appointment with such and such. But if I haven't made any eye contact or any way to, to talk to you, I may just be passing in as a public because, to me, if this didn't have public access, you wouldn't have awards, antiques roadshow, things that people can come in and admire. Yeah? If you didn't want that, if you just wanted people that were coming in to visit the BBC, you would just have a desk and people meeting them at the list and you send them up to the relevant floor. You know, it's nice. But, you know, I did once fund that. You know, I might have paid a bit to that once. Well, yeah. I might have paid a bit to those awards. You know, so those awards are one on my behalf, aren't they? One on behalf of the people? Oh, yes, yeah, for everybody. Because the BBC have eight programmes with publicly funded money, so technically, you know, they belong to the people. So I want them to come in and admire those awards. You know, I, will, I don't go anywhere that I can't go. Honestly, it's not worth my while, and I'm glad that you didn't call the police. Because you know why? Because that is a waste of public money. That's a waste. That it would be a waste of my money then, because I pay tax. And that's of course Sarah's going to have to call the police. No. This is it. If I, that's me stopping me calling the police. I got my phone here. Yeah. It's not a problem. They will come here. As in, you've got to remember.
they might say you might try and get if they did if they did try this is well this scenario what would happen if she has gone up to call the police okay if she has for say for example police will turn up you might try and quote trespass okay now I would be have to be on private property to trespass now I can't be trespassed from public property and it even if you wanted to remove me, I would have had to be causing a disturbance. I'm not causing a disturbance, okay? And having a camera cannot be classed as causing a disturbance. And anybody feeling upset by a camera, if that's all it is, is a feeling. And feelings are not crimes. It's like, things like, for example, um, that should be outside. <laughs> He doesn't like his images online, which is, you can, if you put that... Yeah, but unfortunately, online, mate, don't, be, don't work in a public foyer. Get a job that you work in a private you know, building. Is, you know, he's, he's or for, the best thing is, is get a job that you work for a private company, OK? Also, he wasn't here when we first came in. No. He came up to the camera. He actually came up to the camera. the camera. to go back out. Yeah, that's a good point. I didn't think of that. So, there, there is that. You, you know. Also... Yeah. The camera up there, you don't even know who's getting that. You don't know who's seeing that camera. Do you say, for example, right? Let's split out. That camera wasn't working there. So your, your CCTV system's gone down this very instant, okay? This very instant. And that man there attacks you, okay? As a decent human being, I am, regardless that he's my friend or not. He's assaulted you. For the record, I wouldn't attack you, though. No, for the record, <laughs> he wouldn't. Like, like, like I said, I said as an example. Okay. I have a smart mouth, but yeah. I from a fist. Yeah. We, we, we're, we're, we're lovers, not fighters. But yeah, I, would, I would obviously help you. I would, <laughs> no, I would, no, I, I would give you the footage and go, there you go, that could prosecution, because, you know, that's what we're all about. But you must have been, you must have... Being security guards had this before that you've had people come into public buildings and film. No? No? You don't want to talk now. Okay. That's some mental awards. There are. Is that Jackie Chop? It looks like Jack Cholton. No. Is that it does a bit. Doesn't it, it does look like Jack Cholton, that. Frank Gillard Award. For Frank Gillard Award for Diversity. 2016, 2007, digital innovation, lots of diversity. Very much the one, more BAFTAs, or are these just the latest ones? Well, I would have thought it was more than three. Oh, I don't have a temperature check. No. Have they got that on the digital readout now? But anyway, I'm going back outside now, so, you know, appreciate it, I really, you know, I really get, I'm glad that it's really calmed down and we could have a, have a it's chat. Right, it's alright, it's alright, yeah. just, I was, I, when I heard this, like, there's a couple of people in the reception, I, I didn't know what's, that's yeah. why it came. It's okay. it's okay. But if you, I don't know, have you got audio on yours? You've got no audio. Mate, it's a good thing to, audio, because man. pictures are, are good, audio is even better. Because I could, you know, I could be shouting all in sundry abuse at you, okay, and that is, could be clean, deemed as harassing, and you've got no evidence of that. I make, I make hundreds of videos, but I don't post everything I make. No, no, what's the point? Yeah. But, yeah, I'm a, I'd step out of the way of this gentleman, and I'm going to... Walking outside. This is what I mean. You must, you know, on your BBC tour, you must let people take photographs. Surely. Yeah, yeah. You know, obviously, you don't do tours, but you must allow people to take photographs. You must do. Yeah. But anyway, thanks, chaps. See, you don't like identifying. Based on this, and now you're being No, not at all, mate, but you're coming up telling me that you don't want me 
filming when I'm on a public footpath. Foot well, well, technically, you're actually on our property. Well, 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 well. It's so public we'll property. Well, technically, technically well, listen, it's the BBC. It's funded by the public. It's funded by us. None of it's private property. It's my property. It's your property too. So do you pay tax? But then this is your property too. It's funded by the government. It's funded by the people. This is your property as well as it is mine. I'm trying to be reasonable. Bro, I'm not trying to be unreasonable. The most reasonable thing you could do is just to leave us do our work. Yeah, but I don't want you... I don't want you... But, but we, if any... Yeah, I, any cars come... We, no, but, you know, we move out of the way, we're adults. You didn't have to come up and talk. You Some know, you're saying you don't want us filming. No. Well, don't come up to us then. Us then. You know, we're not interacting hey, with I'm you. We're not coming onto the property, are we? Yeah. If you're getting briefed from your manager or something, send your manager out. Send your manager out. In fact, send your manager out. But buddy, if you're, if you're getting grief off your manager, send him out. Tell him I have a bit of spine and come out here. Carrying the wet leg as well.